All right, guys, welcome back to part four in this series, EDC. Um, this is my watches and wallets, we'll call it. Kind of clever name when it goes together. So I just kind of want to, I've had a few requests recently on to do some like a watch collection type video. And this isn't all the watches I own, but this is the most, the ones I wear the most and get the most frequent use. So we'll start here with the, uh, my, actually my latest acquisition, which is a Hamilton Khaki uh, 42 millimeter field watch. This is an incredible watch, guys. This is a classic. I think if you're a watch enthusiast, you probably own one or want to own one or just currently own a Hamilton Khaki. They're in great value for an automatic watch. Um, not a lot to say that hasn't been said. I, I, I think they look great on NATOs. I did a challenge recently on my Instagram where I wore this watch for five days with a different band every day. And it's a very versatile watch. You can wear it with anything. A leather strap, NATO. Uh, the steel, stainless steel bracelet that mine came with, um, like a purlon strap. I mean, you got brown leather, black leather. You got all kinds of options. It looks good with everything. This particular model has the illuminated num numerals as well. Only comes in the 42 millimeter. The smaller ones do not have the illuminated numerals. That was one of the things I really wanted. So, and I just got it on a gray NATO. This is actually what the watch I was wearing today. Oh, it's got the see-through back as well, which you can't see because the strap did. Hamilton's awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I always wanted a field watch and or a Hamilton khaki field watch, and there you go. Uh, another recent acquisition is this Seiko Turtle reissue. Um, this is, you know, based on the old school uh, Seiko Turtles. I believe the model number is 6309, maybe 7309 around there. Drawing a blank on the model number. This is the SRP775, I believe. I'm just checking to see if it says here. It's got the Prospect, Seiko, 200 meters, stainless steel, of course. It's got the Seiko 4R36 movement, which is a great movement hacking, hand winding. So the Turtle reissue is one watch I was super excited about. Got a good deal on this, thanks to another fellow YouTuber, 555 gear. He had a posted a deal he found on eBay for these that were considerably cheaper than what they're going for currently. Even uh, I love the cushion case on this, and it's got great loom. It's a Seiko dive watch. Of course, it has great loom. Keeps great time. Just a classic look. Looks good on all kinds of different bands as well. Came with the stainless steel brace. It looks good on leather, NATO. Just a great all-around everyday watch. Um, super comfortable, even though. It, it looks a little large. It is super comfortable on the wrist because of this cushion case. So, Seiko Turtle reissue. Um, another recent acquisition is this Air Blue watch. Did a review on this one. This is the Air Blue Navy um, Blue Angels. One of their new lines of pilot watches. These are made by Deep Blue Watches, who makes lots of dive watches. So this is their pilot watch line. Um, it's been a great watch. It's been very accurate in time. and also uses a Seiko, no, it uses a Citizen Myota movement, excuse me, 9015 movement, but it's also hand wine and hacking. Uh, I have it on the black leather strap it came with. It looks good on a NATO. I'm looking for the right NATO though, something that kind of has the same kind of contrast of blue and black. Um, that blue, that sunburst dial is just gorgeous. Look at that, how the sun hits, the light hits that. And this has incredibly good loom also. This watch, just like I showed in the video, has really incredibly good loom so this is a, a common one commonly worn watch these days my Steinhardt Ocean 1 um, incredibly nice watch if you look at it you think that's a Seiko Submariner well that's yeah, what it's designed to look Submariner not Submariner um, that's what it's designed to look like it is but it's not like it's more of an homage watch not a knockoff it's um, really really high quality Swiss made as well really good movement um, it's got the magnified date window there and it's got this is just an incredible watch the Steinhardts are um, very good value for what you get in a watch um, they're still pretty expensive but they're nowhere near like a, a, a Rolex or a Tudor uh, a Tudor and you get a very similar style watch here look at that nice you get a stainless steel or excuse me a sapphire crystal it's one thing I've got to mention all of these watches I've shown so far have sapphire crystals so they're going to be very scratch resistant. Um, love that one. That's on a, like a, a gray and black NATO, kind of a Bond-esque look there. Uh, one of my favorite 
budget watches is this Ticino Pilot. I've had, I did a review on this one. I've had it for a little, quite a while now. It's still kicking. It's doing great. It's got a navy blue NATO, which looks really good, I think. Um, this watch has great loom. It's just easy to read, easy to see. And it was really inexpensive. It was under 100, I think it was around 150 bucks or so. But they're actually sold out right now. I had one of my viewers try to offer me money to buy it, and I didn't want to sell it. So um, one of my most worn watches as well is the Ticino, Ticino Pilot. The Citizen here. Oh, man, I should have looked at the model numbers on these before I did this video. That was a goof on my part. This is an EcoDrive uh, military-style watch. I'll probably Anna, I'll put it in the description as well, Dale, so you can look it up. It's only Citizen on here. so um, Nice-looking military watch with the... Uh, um, new, the military style dial here with the uh, minutes on the outside and the hours on the inside it's a little bit different has good loom as well um, ni nice and never needs a battery it's just solar power don't have to worry about putting on a winder like these other watches either and I've got it on a black orange and gray NATO I've, I've got a few different NATOs that I use and I kind of switch between these different watches but that's a great option and I think I paid like 70 bucks for this watch or Maybe less. I think I got on the secondary market for a stupidly good price, but they're really inexpensive on Amazon as well, so I'll put a link in the description. This has been a great watch. Good looking citizen. Nice military style watch. Seiko Sarge 011. Um, excellent watch. Man, what a deal. I mean, these are, these are, this is a high dollar, high nice. I mean, I think this quality of this watch is, is up there with any of these watches, and it wasn't all that expensive. You get a sapphire crystal. The same 40, 40, uh, 4R36 movement, I think it is, as the tur the Turtle reissue. The 40 millimeter case, just slightly over 40 millimeters. Made in Japan. Oh, no, this is the 6R15 movement. What did I say the Seiko was? So I think this actually has a nicer movement, even. Yeah. That's the 4R36, so that's the 6R15, which is actually a little bit nicer movement, a little bit more expensive. Um, hand winding, hacking on that watch as well. Incredibly good loom on this. It's got the nice see-through back. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous watch. Japanese domestic market um, model. You can find them um, here in the U.S. I bought mine on Amazon Prime actually, but it, I don't see. I've seen them on there, but they weren't Prime, and they were going for a pretty penny. Um, illuminated numerals as well. Great loom on this. Got on a Cincy Strapworks um, NATO. Really nice little NATO. Black and white. I think they call it their black tie NATO. Thought it went pretty well with the uh, theme there. So this one is one of my most favorite. I had this one out for, for sale for a while and decided to keep it because it's one of my favorite watches and I thought why sell it, you know. Um, watch I don't wear as much. I wear it about once a week. Which is kind of my, this is kind of my go-to dress watch, is the Orient Bambino um, automatic movement in-house automatic, classic, uh, just a classic-looking watch. I mean, just a real vintage almost look with that raised glass or uh, raised uh, um, glass there, mineral glass I believe is what they use on this, and classic white dial, classic dress style watch. I mean, just a really nice watch it's got it on a shark skin leather I think this is or is this alligator skin which one is this one I don't know it's a Rio USA the interesting thing about this is that it has a 21 millimeter lug width which is weird this this band says 22 but it's not because I tried putting 22's on this thing and it does not fit um, so it's kind of and I looked it up and it has a 21 millimeter lug width so that's the only thing that's weird about the Bambino is it's kind of hard to find uh, straps for but I wear that about pretty much every Sunday to church and stuff, and it's a great dress watch. The last is my G-Shock. I think this is the first watch review I ever did. This is one of the Mudman. This is the 9300 series. This has the compass. It doesn't get, and it's also solar powered. It doesn't get a ton of wrist time. I work in an um, office environment, so I usually wear something a little dressier like these other watches I've showed you. But this is my go-to outdoors watch if I go camping, hiking doing anything shooting outdoors I know I can beat the heck out of this it's nothing's gonna happen to it it's gonna keep on ticking and it's just a great watch it's solar powered you don't have to worry about batteries um, for quite a few years anyway so G-Shock 9300 excellent watch so that wraps up the watches the wallets won't take too long um, 
I'm kind of a minimalist guy when it comes to EDC and wallets. I'll start with what I'm currently carrying. Oh, let me uh, flip my ID around and all that fun stuff so no one tries to steal anything in my information. Flip my cards around. I like minimalist wallets. I like um, front pocket wallets. This is the Big Skinny. Um, had this one for actually forever, and I actually switched back to this recently. I've been carrying the recycled firefighters a lot. Um, this one here, Sergeant. Actually, the leather Sergeant was the one I carried the most. And I like the money clip option on this. I mean, this has a strap, which works great. But um, this is just magnetic. It just snaps on. Just a little bit bigger, but it, it's slim still. And it's just better organization. I like the front um, clear ID window. You know, I carry my license. And I can still carry permit in there. My uh, insurance cards and debit and credit card. That's all I got. So I don't carry a whole lot. Um, that's the one I've switched to recently. Like I said, the Recycled Firefighters are a very commonly carried wallet. And I'll, and I'll rotate these all the time. Love these guys. These are awesome. Great, you know, not a lot of money as well. But the Saddleback Leather um, card holder I've been carrying. I carried this for quite a long time. And I did a mod here where I just had a money clip that you can buy on Amazon for pretty cheap. And it just kind of clips on the back of the, of the uh, wallet here. And that way you can carry some cash as well as your cards. Um, and the cards obviously just slide up, so that's a pretty basic minimalist wallet. And I just realized one of my wallets is missing for this video. Huh. I'll have to try to find it. Um, this little guy here is an Alpine Swiss. I think I got off Amazon for like less than ten dollars, and it was it worked pretty well. But honestly, I don't recommend this wallet because after a while the leather stretches really easily, and then your cards fall out. <laughs> so I don't get them that much. Let me go get my Loyal Strickland wallet that I've been carrying also. Stay tuned.